We Filipinos are accustomed in doing this. We are very flexible and when it comes to these scenarios, especially if you are dating a province girl and it's up to you if you want to be flexible. Some Filipinos are comfortable in squatting. Hi guys, I am back with another interesting video I know you are going to love to watch. In today's video, I'm going to be reacting on this particular video titled can you handle this type of situations in the Philippines as a foreigner? This video is going to be another interesting one. So sit back, relax, and watch it to the end, okay? So you know what it is? I'm not going to be wasting your time. Let's dive into this video. Watch it together and then react on it as usual, okay? Now, we'll be telling you what is the situation here in the Philippines. So most of you guys, especially for foreigners, you are used to having a heater in your bathroom, your comfort room. But what if you would encounter a situation that there is no heater? So that's just really common here in the Philippines. So in this city, yes, of course, in condos, in hot hotels, yes, they do have heaters in their comfort room, in their bathroom. And that would be luxurious. For some of you guys because you're not used to like cold showers right <laughs> but here in the Philippines it depends on the climate or the temperature of the weather if the weather is hot the water is also hot but if it's raining and continuously raining every day so the water temperature is cold so say for example, you're dating a province girl. So most of them, they don't have a heater in their bathroom, in their comfort room. So what they do is they just store the water coming from the rain in a huge container. If you've never seen that type of container, guys, you can watch our previous vlogs about the dipper. So these types of container, they store water for them to use when taking a bath, doing their laundry, and there are also type of situation that they don't have the money to buy that type of container because it's too expensive for them. So most of the time they go to the spring area, meaning to say water coming from the mountains. So this Spring water provides them drinking water and also they use that spring water in order to take a bath. Yeah. So it's an open space where there's a lot of people that are also taking a bath. So mm -hmm. now in this video, I'll be showing yeah. you the scenario how to take a bath in the philippines especially in the province in the open area so let's go ahead and get our shampoo yeah. our soap and our toothpaste and toothbrush come we have everything here guys so we have yeah. our soap our toothpaste our toothbrush we have our shampoo and conditioner so in the mountains mm -hmm. if you are oh. taking a bath of course you need something to wear so most of the provinces or most yeah. of the people in the province they do have a specific clothes to wear in washing or taking a bath so most of them would have sleeveless or they wear a pajama so that is their comfortable wear in taking a bath so for me i'm using this sleeveless in order for me to take a bath properly. Of course, we have our huge bucket here, a huge container. We have our dipper. So let's just imagine that we are in the province and our source of water is coming from the mountain. So of course, spring water is really cold. Most of it, or most of the temperature of the water that is coming from the mountains is very cold. So, of course, let's imagine that the water is here, okay? Then, you need to put your things where you can reach it. 
So most of the time, Filipinos would test the water first, if how cold it is. So most of them would touch the water or they put the water on their foot like that. So they would know how cold the water is. So just imagine that this is an area, an open area where people take a bath in the province. So most of us in the city too, we put a container here and we will be here in the space so that whenever we use the water, the used water that is dripping on our body, we can use it to water the plants or wash the floor. Mm. So that's the scenario here in the city. But in the province, since it's running water mm. coming from the mountains, so they don't really use mm. the container here. There are also cases that if they're too far away from the mountain water or the spring water, so they would prepare huge containers and store water coming from the rain. So that's how they take a bath. But for people that are near to the spring water or they have the time to go there, mm -hmm. so they can definitely bring a dipper with them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and a small really bucket. Cold. So that's most of the scenario if you go to the spring water. It's cold. So mm -hmm. I'll be showing you how we take a bath in the province. Most Filipinos try to check if the water temperature is cold or not. So they try to touch it and put it on their feet. Then some Filipinos like to stand up while taking yeah. a bath. So initially, we try to wet our body and try to scrub it <laughs> if we have dirt. Yeah. So this is how we behave when taking a bath, especially for public mm -hmm. areas or open yeah. areas. And some Filipinos are comfortable in squatting. So for me, I'm okay with boat. Oh, so inside. I do the squatting or standing up. And mostly they want to scrub their body and when we try to rip off oh. the shampoo so most of our shampoos are in sachet so we don't really use yeah. a scissor we really use easy. our yeah. mouth to open it yes mostly that's how we do the initial and taking a bath after we're done shampooing our hair, so of course, we have this river stone that we use to rub our skin. Some actually don't really do that, but some wants to really get the dead skin off their skin. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. for me, I prefer it. That's why I have this river set. Ri cool. That's why yeah. I have this river stone so that I can really mm -hmm. get off those dirt on my skin so some Filipinos don't really do this but others want to so that they can make sure that their their body is clean some of you would definitely think that oh why are there stones on the comfort room or in the bathroom? So this is the purpose of it. They use that to clean their body to scrape off the dead skin or the dirt. So some would think that, oh, you can definitely use that as a weapon. Of course, it's a rock. <laughs> it's a stone. But the most important part there is most Filipinas use this to really make sure that their body is clean. That's the purpose of this. So afterwards, we're done with that. Okay. We will get our soap and of course, clean our body afterwards. Yes, I'm done guys. So as you can see, that's how we take a bath, especially in the province. 
So again guys, especially if you are not comfortable with water that is cold, you want to have hot water when you take a bath. Yeah. So you really need to put effort in boiling water. So in the it's province, cold. most of the people would just go to spring water or they would go to the river and take a bath there. So that's the scenario, especially in drought season, there are just limited water. So most of them would go to the river and take a bath. And of course, they take a bath with their clothes on. But for guys, most of them would just wear boxer shorts. And that's very convenient. Because you can really take a bath and you're really comfortable and really washing off the dirt. We Filipinos are accustomed in doing this. We are very flexible. And when it comes to these scenarios, all of us experience this. Because we don't have the luxury that we have a water heater, that everybody has a water heater in their bathroom. But most of us experience this, that we go to public areas, open areas, just to take a shower. Especially if you are dating a province girl. So these types of scenarios is really common to them. Like taking a bath in the river. So that's just really common. And when it comes to survival, Filipinos are really flexible with that. Yeah. Again, guys, this is our culture. And it's up to you if you want to be flexible, especially if you cannot adjust to it. So might as well you'll be living in the city where you can install a water heater. But if you want to experience mm -hmm. that, at least you have that information here in this video. And you would know how to take a bath. Yeah. in an open area this video is so interesting to watch guys most of the things she did on this video we africans do it as well sometimes we go to the stream to take our baths and we also if the water is cold we can boil water and then mix it with the cold one and have a shower we squat as well to shower a lot of things she said on this video we do it in africa <laughs> this video is so interesting to watch i'm going to be stopping here for today let me know what you think about this video in the comment section anyway see you all on my next one bye